And you know, um, so I'm going to construct a, hmm, I don't know, whatever. It's a function, right? I'll put it up. I'll draw up a table here. So maybe, for instance, smiley corresponds to some set. Okay. And again, I also don't want to. I want to avoid writing this as a sequence because that would make it imply that I'm talking about something countable, which I don't mean to, right? So Adam is would rather have me just write all the things that are in the subset in the jumble, right? So maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe it contains this and this and this and maybe this and uh, star, right? There's a whole bunch of things in here. With me? You could, if it was countable, you could list it, okay? But it's not necessarily countable. Subset? There's a bunch of other things, maybe. It might not even be finite, right? It could be also uncountable. It could be really crazy. OK, now here's another element. Oh, um, and again, I'm going to try to avoid making this look like a list, but it's going to be, that's almost unavoidable. Here we go. Uh, maybe there's another element, like um, double smiley, which um, uh, maybe has elements like this, um, triangle, star, Cyclops, Smiley, Star of Bethlehem, um, Boat, okay, lots of, you know, uh, lots of things, okay? And maybe uh, Star corresponds to some other things. Star, Boat, um, um, Puppy Dog, um, <laughs> Stuff, okay, other stuff. Okay, and I've just written a few out, okay? And I didn't write them in a list, even though it looks like it. Okay? Happy? Ah, <sighs> okay, now what are we going to do here? What is going to be the analog of the diagonal argument uh, that we used for real numbers when we wrote out to every integer a real number on a list that <coughs> had a certain number of decimal places. What did we do? Good. In that, in that example, when we wrote out the decimals, we said, let's make, let's, uh, let's uh, make, construct a, let's show that there's a real number that's not on the right-hand side. By making it different from every decimal expansion in the nth place, yes? OK, what's going to play that role here? I want to construct, I want to show that there can't be such a bijection by showing that there is a subset that can't be on the right-hand side here anywhere in this correspondence, yes? And I'm going to do so by making it differ from every possible thing on the right-hand side, yes? How am I going to make it different? In what place? Jenny, a, a suggestion. If you know the full idea, maybe just give a hint so people could come along with us. Good. F of A is a subset of A, a subset of big A. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so Jenny said everything in. Uh, here's the full set. Would you agree every subset can you can you can talk about the subset, specify a subset by deciding whether some element is either in or not. Is smiley in this set? Yes. Is square in this set? No. Is triangle in this set? Yes. Right? Okay. So I want to construct a new set which differs from everything in this list. Yes? In the what place? If this, if on the right-hand side I associated, for instance, in this picture, suppose I associated smiley and square and triangle with this particular subset. In the smiley place. 
Yes, I'm going to construct a set that differs from the smiley element of the list in the smiley place, right? Or in the, in this case, in the squared place, or in the triangled place. So if I were to do this for this particular picture, I'm really interested in constructing a set that is what? Instead of 1, 0, 0, it's 0, 1, 1. And I claim, if that's the case, this is a new set, square and triangle, is, can't be on my list anywhere because it's different from all these things. Are you with me? Good. That's the basic idea. Now we just got to make that precise here. So what is the smiley place here? Well, is the smiley place is, I want to know, is smiley in the set. Is it? Yes. What's the, well, that's Cyclops place, right? What, what about smiley, regular smiley? No, yeah, and let me just go ahead and say this. Ev with all the things in here, let's say this has no smiley in it. That's sad, no smiley. Oh, it's got a Cyclops smiley, though. OK. Um, sorry, tangents. Um, <laughs> good. This doesn't have smiley. Good. What's the starth place here? The star's there. So is this in star in it? Yes. Good. So what's the new subset I would construct? My new subset, should it have smiley in it? Cyclops smiley. No. Should it have regular smiley? Yes. Should it have star? No. Good. In general, what's that set going to be? This is how you motivate this construction. So we're going to let B be this set that I claim is not in the image of F. So let me, before I write let B, let me just say what we want is a, set, a subset B that's not in the image of F. It's not, can't be the image of any particular element, yes? And now we have an idea that Jenny suggests looking at. What is it? Well, let B be the set of all things that have what property? Let's call it little a, such that little a is what? What's, what, what's going to be true about little a? Yeah, I'm going to find all the regular smileys that don't live in their image, their own image, right? So I'll let little a, such that little a is not in f of a. Oh, OK, that's, that's nice. That's, that's beautiful. OK, now, now, of course, this is a proposed thing. Let's see if, if, if we now believe that this is actually not in the image of anything, period. Let b equal blah, period. OK, great. So what's the argument? The argument is, what if it, let's, let's suppose it was in the image. This is now just a matter of writing down the, the intuition. We'll just compare. So, so if uh, b were equal to f of x for some x in a, what, 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 how, why would this give a contradiction? It's a big if here, right? This is the if that's trying to show this is by contradiction, right? If B were in the image, what would go wrong? What should I look at? What if this set were on the right-hand side? What set should I compare it to? X's set, right? Whatever X is. So if B were F of X for some X and A, so in this picture, the claim is this set B is somehow corresponding to, there's the idea, this set B corresponds to 